Bill Maher, in my opinion, has developed some kind of partisan derangement syndrome. Trump derangement. That, that's what they keep like. Yeah, this is they have no points. They just have to label things like they come up with funny names and they think that it's smart. Syndrome. Yes, he has that. We understand that. That's where. Derangement syndrome. Is that we understand that. That's where people are just irrationally angry with the. Hold on. Let's go back. What is he called? Syndrome. Trump derangement syndrome. Yes, he has that. We understand that. That's where people are just irrationally angry with the president. But there's something else. And that's why I brought up the pro-life versus pro-choice. Irrationally angry with the president. The, 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 the guy that funded Saudi Arabia to drop bombs on civilians and on ports and schools and hospitals cutting out the only way for them to get food and medicine from a population that was already suffering from extreme hunger uh, from a country that was already struck by disease children be starving children to death as a weapon of war somebody who funded that yeah we're just irrationally angry at trump we, there's, we, there's no way that we have any points for why that guy is like you know war criminal there's no way if you don't like him then you just have trump derangement syndrome like obviously you don't have any valid points against him choice stuff like uh, uh what's her face uh, michelle wolf when she was like everybody get abortions it's like that's crazy you know you're crazy wait if anybody who wants to get abortion should be able to get abortion how is that crazy that's partisan derangement syndrome. Oh, yeah. Everybody who disagrees with me has tr partisan derangement syndrome. The Republicans are bad. Therefore, everything they believe, I believe the opposite. That's what you're doing. God damn it. It's self-awareness. And that's what I think comes if Donald Trump loses. I don't think there's a scenario where Trump loses and then all of a sudden everything goes back to normal. You would be mistaken. The sky will fall. It will rain acid. There will be earthquakes. The fabric of the society will completely turn itself. There will be civil war. There will be blood flowing in the streets if Trump loses. If you thought that was the case, it won't be. It will not. It's not coming back. We are not going to the days of old. The internet is here. Social media is here. The changes are here and you cannot stop them. What you can do is by voting for Biden, putting Biden in office, empowering the establishment at a time when they keep chasing after Twitterati. So those are the, those are the woke leftists. Hey, guess what? My, my Twitter account keep getting, keeps getting suspended because of right wing loons are coming after me, not left wing loons. And they're going to enact fringe, insane, you know, politics. And then partisan derangement syndrome will result in the Democrats saying no matter what the Republicans say, we must hate. Take a look at the metrics. What do you get? Republicans have been negotiating with Democrats. Democrats have not been negotiating with Republicans. This is a tendency. You can look up the data from Pew. I've shown the chart several times. Wait, wait. Democrats. Democrats have not been negotiating with Republicans. This is a tendency. Because they have positions that shouldn't be negotiated with. You can look up the data from Pew. I've shown the chart several times. Republicans are more likely to. The Democrats are less likely to. What happens? The left will say something like war is bad. The Republicans will say, OK, OK, fine. War is bad. No, 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 no. War is good. Oh, my God, this guy. This from a guy who supports Trump, the guy that increased funding for a war that is responsible for the greatest humanitarian crisis of our time. Well, before China got involved with their Muslim population. That's partisan derangement syndrome. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, Tim. You're, you're a goddamn moron. Everything you say is completely biased in favor of conservatives. And you're saying, like, you're not, you're a, you're a, you're not a conservative. And then you, you, you're saying others are being partisan. I mean, look at this guy's videos. Everything he says is biased in favor of conservatives because he's, he knows his audience. He knows his demographic. And then he goes and says, like, oh, partisan derangement syndrome. Bill Maher will say, you're a Catholic, you're a nut. That's a yeah. You have nutty views. Not, a, not fully, completely. You might have some other good views. But on that aspect, you're a nut. I'm sorry. That's accurate. That's accurate.
a much more extreme position than I've heard him take in the past. I could be wrong. I know he's been atheist for a long time. He made that documentary about it. But in the documentary, he was respectful to the people he was meeting. Now you could be nice to people. Okay, Tim, <laughs> simple. People could be morons and you could be nice to them. But you could still believe that they're morons and you could still believe that they have moronic takes and you could still be nice to them. See how that works? If I had to be an, an a-hole to anybody, to everybody that had a moronic take on anything, then I would have to be more into, they have to be like, uh, they have to be an a-hole to everybody, to, including myself. I'm, I sh everybody has moronic takes. Everybody has moronic takes on something. You don't have to stop. You don't have to hold back from calling it out. That doesn't mean you can't be friendly to people. That doesn't mean you can't be kind to people. And yet, any religious view, any religious view is a moronic take and you could call it out. Now he's not. Now he's saying you're a nut if you believe in these religions. Yeah, yeah. No, that doesn't contradict you being kind to people. I'll tell you what, man. You make up 26% of this country, substantial portion, large and fastest growing uh, um, um, group of people in terms of religion. Is, is this how Bill Maher always felt? And he's just saying this now because he feels comfortable because the numbers are growing? Or is he being... No, he was always being... A, he was always a rebel. He was always a contrarian. Radicalized like many other people and be... No, what the hell are you talking about? He was saying this before it was popular. He normalized this stuff. He, he said this when it was difficult to say these things. He made it easier for the rest of us. He's, he doesn't say things because it's safe. In fact, he, in fact, Bill Maher has a lot of moronic takes that has got him to, into a lot of trouble. And he says it anyways. He has some really good takes that are unpopular. And he has some moronic takes that are unpopular. But it doesn't seem like he's giving in to, like he's not the type of person that is afraid to highlight the things that he thinks just because it's popular. Again, this atheistic stuff, he was saying it way before even the... He, even before the new atheist movement, he was saying these things. When, <laughs> when it was the most difficult. So, yeah, that's such a wrong, what do you, Temple, that's such a wrong take. Oh, he, do, you, do you think Bill Maher is saying this now because he has the numbers on his side? Are you serious? You're talking about the guy that was the earliest in normalizing atheism in the United States. When it was the most difficult to say these things in the United States. Before Dawkins, before Sam Harris, before Hitchens became very popular, he was doing this stuff. Becoming just a hateful individual. I seem to recall Bill Maher saying he was going to tone things down because he was worried about how close we were to civil war. Bill Maher said it. So why the hate? I don't know, man. I'm not into it. I'm not. Hmm. Elections have consequences. Go vote. And if Trump loses and the Republicans don't win, well, then there you go. The sky will fall. It would be the end of civilization as we know it. Consequences. That's Trump. I'll leave it there.